Hi, welcome to Hereford College of Arts Further Education and Virtual Open Day. My name is Polly and I work in the student recruitment team and we're delighted that you've joined us today. And hi, my name's Wendy and I'm also from the student recruitment team. Delighted you can be with us. We will be looking after you and talking you through today's programme. We're going to start off today with a welcome talk from our principal, Abigail Appleton, who's also going to be joined by the head of further education, Ben Gamble. Following Ben's talk, our course leaders will introduce themselves to you and invite you to get in touch with them today. After that, we're going to show you a brief video of our specialist workshops and our IT department. And we will pop back on at the end to help you with any queries you might have. Hello, thank you for your interest in Hereford College of Arts. You'll understand that during lockdown, the vast majority of staff are supporting students to keep learning from home, and we're trying to minimise travel into campus. So I'm speaking to you from my desk at home, but in a moment I'll pass you on so you can meet Head of Further Education, Ben Gamble. Ben looks after all our pre-degree programmes and he'll be speaking from our campus on Folly Lane. So you'll get more of an insight into our workshops and studios. Technical facilities and the physical environment are very important, but in the end, I think it's the quality of people and teaching, our ethos and our values that really shape the nature of the experience we can give you. Hereford College of Arts is an independent specialist arts school founded more than 150 years ago and wholly focused on creative education for the modern world. That means inspiring and supporting students into a whole host of creative careers. Those careers can be in the so-called creative industries, be that film and fashion or music, performance and arts events management, but also roles in other sectors where your creative qualifications and your creative outlook give you an edge. As we look through this pandemic to a time of great economic instability and challenge, I truly believe creative education can give students the knowledge and skills, the resilience, the enterprise and the confidence to adapt and thrive. We're a smaller scale institution, we operate at a very personal level and can respond to individual needs and interests. We're a very caring community, but we are also ambitious and we will be ambitious for you. In a moment, Ben Gamble will talk about the qualifications you can achieve and some of our excellent results. But education has never been just about qualifications, important though they are. And I'm very proud of how during this pandemic period, our students and staff are showing what it really means to live by the college values, to be collaborative, even when it's hard to get together, to be inquisitive and empathetic about others' experience, to be brave, to be inventive and individual. So if you choose to apply to us, we will ask a lot of you. But we also believe that anybody's time at art school should be one of immense adventure and enjoyment. And we'd hope you'd have a lot of fun. So now to give you more insight into how the programmes run, I'm going to hand you on to Head of Further Education, Ben Gamble. Hello and welcome to Hereford College of Arts. My name's Ben Gamble and I'm the Head of Further Education here. I'd like to start uh, by talking a little bit about our values. We have five core values at the college. The first one is about collaboration, learning to work with others, and that's so important if you want to go into the creative, performance or digital industries. The next thing is about supporting students to be inquisitive, really thinking why, getting underneath subjects to understand how they really work, how they really work, run. And also the third one is bravery. 
We're here to support students to become brave. Brave about their practice. Brave about stepping out and doing something different. Brave about performing on stage, producing a digital piece of work, producing a sculpture, taking a photograph, saying something political, pushing the boundaries about what art, creativity and the creative industries can be. The fourth one is about being inventive, doing something different, thinking differently and our tutors are here to support you to think and be that little bit different and that leads me to our final one which is about the individual. We're really concerned about the individual here, your individual creative voice and if you choose to come to us to one of our courses we can guarantee to, to hone and support that creative individual voice uh, so you can be all that you possibly can be. Before we start, I'm going to just talk about four departments that we have at the college. So on our college level courses, we have four basic departments. Those are performing arts, music, digital futures and interactive media, and art and design. And within those four departments, we have three main kind of levels. Those levels are level one, and our level one courses are a foundation to springboard into kind of creativity and learn basic fundamental skills. That programme is one year. We have our level two diplomas, that is also one year. And those level two diplomas in performing arts, music, media, digital futures, interactive media, and art and design will support you to go on to our level three programmes. Now our level three programmes are, if you like, our three A-level equivalents. See, we don't run BTEC qualifications here, and we don't run A-levels. We run University of the Arts qualifications. Those are skills-based professional qualifications. The level three is two years in length, and it's the equivalent of three A-levels. In fact, if you get a distinction on these level three qualifications, and on average 40% of our students do, it's the same equivalence of getting three A-stars at A-level. That's a significant amount of UCAS points or university entry points. But for those of you that might be finishing A-levels, we also have a range of post-A-level courses that are one year to help support you get into higher education. That is our foundation course, professional diploma course in music and performance. We also have a range of options available for students that have just finished their A-levels or maybe adults that want to return to education for a year to help prepare them for their next steps. Last academic year, 100% of students that applied to higher education got a place. Uh, we also offer higher education here and a good number of our students decide to stay to go on to do their degree or their MA. And why is that? Firstly, it's because we run what's called a study programme. So you get individual tutorials. We'll support you with your English or maths if that's what you need on a bespoke programme. We have small class sizes that are tailored around you and your needs. And also we have a significant amount of workshops and technical demonstrators to help you give that kind of skills base and expertise. So we have workshops in textiles, in printmaking, in design, in IT. We have workshops in uh, 3D, in ceramics, in small metals and jewellery, a whole range of things that's far too long for me to go on here. But I'm sure as you go through this virtual tour today, you'll see lots of different imagery and lots of different things. Like how is that made? And hopefully when we're back able to open our doors again, we'd like to invite you to come and have a look around. Um, if you'd like to get more information, uh, some tutors are going to come on screen in a, in a moment and introduce themselves and you'll be able to get in contact with them. But also, if you'd like to make an application today, you can do so via our website. So I hope you enjoy our virtual open day today and hopefully I will see you on campus very soon. Thank you. Hi there, my name is uh, John Turner and I'm the curriculum leader for Digital Futures and Interactive Media. Uh, Digital Futures and Interactive Media uh, is a fairly new course. Uh, this September we'll see the start of the second year of the course and it's designed uh, for those students who have a keen interest in things such as computer game design, uh, animation, uh, filmmaking, uh, future immersive technologies such as augmented reality uh, and virtual reality, uh, digital design uh, such as graphics, uh, motion graphics, uh, web design, uh, photography, along with UX and UI for mobile technologies. Uh, you'll be immersed in specialist digital disciplines uh, and you'll be supported by expert staff 
who are also uh, creative professionals or technologists uh, working in the creative digital media industry. Uh, the course will support you to develop a unique body of digital work, uh, utilising industry standard creative software such as Adobe Creative Cloud, uh, Dragonframe, Blender and Unity 3D. Um, I will be conducting a live presentation online uh, via Zoom video conferencing which you can sign up to uh, to find out more information uh, about the digital courses. Uh, during that live presentation I'll be open to uh, any questions uh, that you might have um, about the course. Um, so all you need to do is to provide your email address uh, and the course that you're interested in, uh, obviously Digital Futures and Interactive Media, into the chat box uh, and then you'll receive details uh, via email on how to log in to the online presentation. Uh, thank you very much and I hope to see some of you uh, for the live presentation. Hello, my name is Pete Thorogood. I'm the course leader for music at Hereford College of Arts. Uh, we have a fantastic uh, set of courses that we offer there with brilliant resources including uh, several rehearsal rooms, a recording studio, fantastic equipment, uh, drum kits, amplifiers, guitars, basses, you name it, we've probably got it. Uh, we run courses at level one, level two, level three and a post A level professional diploma in performance. Our courses emphasise the practical, uh, there's lots of performance opportunities and chances for you to develop your stage skills and confidence in performance, as well as uh, creating music, learning about the music industry and technology. If you're interested in any of our courses then please get in touch and we'll look forward to chatting to you about further about them later on. Hi, I'm Darren. I'm the course leader for the Extended Diploma Art Design course. It is a large dynamic course with over 100 students in each year group. This means you'll have the opportunity to access many tutors who work across a range of specialisms. These include textiles, fashion, fine art, 3D, graphics, illustration, photography and film. In year one, you'll have a chance to do a range of taster projects in order to develop your skills and thinking as you move towards a specialism in year two. We're going to take a number of client-led projects each year while also going on educational visits to places such as Oxford, Manchester and London. If you have any questions particularly about this course then please do get in touch. Thank you. Hello, my name is Jack. I'm the Acting Course Leader for Performing Arts at Hereford College of Arts on the Folly Lane campus. We've got four amazing pathways in Performing Arts at Folly Lane. Uh, we collaborate with music, we collaborate with the BA Film course, we collaborate with Digital Futures to make sure that our students on Performing Arts have a really wide and rich learning experience. So if you're interested in putting on musicals, if you're interested in dance, if you're interested in acting in both film and on stage, if you're a scriptwriter, a director or a budding production artist, do get in touch with us. We offer the most amazing vocational training for the industry at Hereford College of Arts. So if you're a practical learner, if you're someone who learns by doing and by learning on the job, uh, this might be the right pathway for you. Levels one to four, uh, catering for all uh, types of learner. Um, if, uh, if this sounds good, then put your details in the chat box and uh, have a chat with me later on today. Bye bye. Hi everybody, um, my name is Xavier Hughes, I'm curriculum leader of FE Art Design um, at our Folly Lane campus and I also course lead the Foundation Diploma in Art Design so that includes our portfolio course for mature students. Um, so today for me is a bit sad because I love an open day and um, it's great always to introduce new people to the college and to share our facilities with you. Um, so normally at an open day um, you would all meet together, we would walk around the whole building so everybody gets a, a full studio tour, um, you'll see all our students, all our workshops and you'd see every space, so that would include performing arts, um, on our music spaces and studios, our digital future studios as well as obviously our practical workshops our IT space spaces and our library spaces. Um, 
then we would go down to the studio and uh, you would meet with our um, our staff team. We we're very fortunate to have very, very experienced staff team with us on foundation um, and they would all be there to, to chat to you. Um, and I think probably most importantly for me, you would get to see the student work because we're so proud of our students and the fantastic work that they do. So it feels very alien to be here in my studio at home, not being able to meet you in person but I hope that today you'll get a little bit of a feel for what we do. Um, at HCA, we're a specialist college, so our work and I think our spaces really, really reflect that. Um, and I'm going to give you um, a kind of overview of the course, um, and we're going to show you some some pictures now to give you a little idea about um, about what we do. But what I would say is that if you feel interested in the foundation diploma or indeed the portfolio course, which is for our mature students, um, usually over age 21, but right up to um, I think 81 we've had, um, then actually um, do just get in touch. You can pop your details in the chat box. Um, I'm going to be online all afternoon today, so I can speak to you about them and about your questions and reply. Um, equally, my, my staff team will be online to talk to you um, or we can make an appointment to either give you a zoom call or to phone you and, and have a chat about the options um, what I would say is that um, at the moment we're still planning the course as normal for September and whatever the situation is and however the future looks for us at the moment um, we're we're planning a super exciting creative course like we always have okay thanks very much and have a good day bye Hello, my name is Bron. I'm the workshop manager at the Folly Lane site. I also run the small metals workshop there too. Uh, the workshop's situated right alongside the 3D and the ceramics workshops and in fact all the workshops are all next to each other really which makes it really accessible uh, for students to work between one and another workshop. Okay so in the small metals workshop we've got 11 purpose-built jewellery benches. Each has got its own torch setup and extraction system. Um, and if you were to come in and work there, you could well be working alongside a student from the degree course or even from the MA uh, course as well, because it's the dedicated and the specialist jewellery workshop uh, for the college too. But it just makes it a really exciting um, and buzzing place to be. Um, some of the other things that we can do in there are things such as etching. The etching process is really popular. Um, we've got polishing facilities. We've got lots of hand tools. Um, and forming equipment. Um, we call ourselves small metals because we work on quite a small scale, um, but we've got a, a hearth area where you can work slightly larger as well. Um, you can book in um, or you can come in in your open access sessions. In fact, what you'll find is if you choose to come in a course at um, Hereford College of Arts, um, those courses will book set process workshops for you. Um, and in the first week or two of you joining the college, you'll be in doing uh, those processes in the workshop and from then you can decide what area you want to work in and come back in and book more specialist processes. Um, hopefully see you soon. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Bryony and I share the running of the ceramics workshop. Um, we have lots of things to offer in there. We've got a big main ceramics workshop, um, slab roller, wheels, um, we have a glaze room where we have um, a spray booth and all the ingredients that you need to mix up glazes. We really enjoy um, lots of different glaze types and different surfaces that you can get from glazing. The doors of all the workshops are open and they, one leads into another one. Hello, my name is Kath and I'm here to talk to you today about the HCA Folly Lane Textile Workshop. This workshop comprises of three main spaces. We've got our wet space where we do our screen printing. We do dispersed dyeing for heat transfer press. We do protein dyeing for shibori, batik, and loads of other fun techniques. We fuse plastics, we do paper making, we do felting, loads of things happen in this space. We've then got our stitch room where we have our digital embroidery machine. We have our overlockers and we have our sewing machines as well as all the equipment you could need for hand embroidery techniques. Finally, we go through to our dry space where we've got our looms for weaving, we've got our knit machines and our sublimation printer for use with the heat transfer press. We love it when you come into the space and really experiment with combining techniques and seeing what you can come up with. 
We love it when you push the boundary of textile design, whether that be constructed textile, printed textile, or something else altogether. Hi there, I'm Alison and I'm the Print Tech Dem at Folly Lane. Um, print Workshop is open three days a week at Folly Lane and when it is open I'm there on hand to induct you into processes, um, give any advice, answer any questions you have on printmaking things and just be there to provide technical support if you need it while you're working in there. Um, we have a lot of natural light coming in, we have places to work if you wanted to sit in carbon liner cut. Then we also have different areas of the workshop where you can get as inky and as messy as you want without having to worry about getting ink everywhere. Um, we have areas for dispensing ink, for preparing your paper and things like that. All the workshops at Folly Lane are quite close together. Print is sort of snuggled in between textiles and 3D and that's great for encouraging students just to say pop next door and try something they've done in print onto fabric or vice versa. Hi, I'm Ella, I'm one of the technical demonstrators at Hereford College of Arts and today I'm going to talk you through some of the possibilities in our 3D workshop at Folly Lane. So, 3D, what can you do? Well, we work across a range of materials and processes including wood, metal, plastics as well as casting in jesmonite, resin and silicon. We've also got our laser cutter and vinyl cutter which enables you to add more digital processes to your making. Really the possibilities are endless, as with all workshops um, there is always a tech dem on hand whether that's myself or one of the team who you can come in and discuss ideas with and we're just there to help your ideas become a reality. Hello, my name is Nick Brown. I'm one of the technical demonstrators at Hereford College of Arts. And this is one of the weirdest tours I've ever done of uh, the IT department here, uh, because we're not in the IT department, we're in my front room. Um, I could tour you around my front room, but that's not what you want to know about. So let me tell you a little bit about the IT department and what we do. Um, first of all, I'm a technical demonstrator, which means I teach software and processes so um, we run uh, taught lessons into a range of different creative software um, there's six technical demonstrators in total and each one of us has their own speciality and that can cover graphics web illustration animation filmmaking printing lots of different things photography as well and we run uh, we use the adobe creative cloud software so Photoshop, Illustrator, uh, Premiere, After Effects, all of that good stuff. This is all industry standard software. So we have that installed and we run sessions. We've also got fantastic printing facilities. We can print, uh, you know, simple little black and white stuff right up to AO, huge prints on different media, including uh, canvas, uh, photography paper, obviously, um, silk and cotton, um, transparency papers, specialist papers, and that's great. And all of that printing is at cost. You won't find it cheaper anywhere else. So it's our job as technical demonstrators to support you with what you're trying to do and um, with your creative work. And, um, you know, it's a, Hereford College of Arts is a small college, uh, but we've got a big IT team. There's six of us, as I said, and there's a lot of support with, with um, what you're doing with your creative work digital work. So that's our job. Um, very strange tour, as I said, I can't really show you anything else, but we've got, you know, really powerful PCs. We've got beautiful Mac suite with iMacs and Mac Pros, um, dark room facilities. We've got loads of, loads of great stuff and a wealth of knowledge to share with you as well. Um, so yeah, that's the IT department and this is my front room. We hope that you found today useful. Um, if you have any further questions regarding admissions, finance or travel, you just need to pop your details in the chat box and someone will get back to you as soon as possible. And if you've joined us today, interested in the foundation course, you might also be interested in housing. Please take a look at our website. It's got lots of information about our new halls of residence that open this autumn and have been designed with art students in mind. If you need any further help, all you need to do is leave your details in the chat box. Thanks.
thanks. It's been great talking to you today and I hope you have a nice day.